is food fusion at its best. Tacos and souvlakis meet to join forces. If you aren't making souvlaki tacos this weekend, that should be legal. Let's get into it. Today we're gonna make souvlaki tacos. Cooking time for this recipe will be 30 minutes. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Cheers. By liking this video, you're doing your good deed for the day. For this recipe, we're gonna need some lamb mince. As always, I dropped in to see Mick out at Gippsland Premium Meats, and he presented me with this 500 grams of lamb mince. The only prep needed for the lamb mince is to put it into a bowl of considerable size. And maybe take it out of the bag as well. Some supermarkets don't stock lamb mince. So you're gonna have to go to your local butcher and ask them to help you out. And they're more than likely gonna tell you to go and get stuffed. I mean, they're gonna be more than happy to help you out. Now, lamb mince on its own isn't gonna win us any awards. So into the bowl with the 500 grams of lamb mince, half of a grated large brown onion, a quarter a cup of panko crumbs, three cloves of crushed garlic, two tablespoons of chopped coriander. You can use parsley if you don't like coriander. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground cardamom, half a teaspoon of chili flakes. Now you can add more if you want more spice. One teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper. Put on some gloves, I find the black ones work best. And mix up all the ingredients thoroughly. And then just splitting the mixture into 50 gram pieces. And then we just wanna shape them into little sausage shapes. Now we just wanna put these in the fridge for about an hour and it's gonna allow all those flavors to intensify before we cook them. By sharing this video, you're going to help others find my channel that most likely are trying to avoid it. This is the part of the cook where I like to get a little bit saucy. Garlic sauce that is. Into a non-reactive bowl, you're going to want to add one cup of mayonnaise. Every last little drop of it. Four minced garlic cloves, two tablespoons of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Whisk this up to combine all of the ingredients. Now you can make this the day before if you're so pressed for time, you can't spare the five minutes it took to make this. And then, like me, transferring this garlic sauce to a squeezy bottle, so when applying it, it's a little bit easier than grabbing a spoon and popping it on. A non-reactive bowl is a non-metallic bowl. Anything acidic, like the lemon juice we're using, is going to react with the metal. Today, I'm using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm pairing it up with a kettle cone. Why? Because I wanna be cooking indirectly with a heat of 240 degrees Celsius today. And how I'll do that is by putting the kettle cone in the middle of the charcoal grate, and then I'll three quarter fill a chimney starter with unlit briquettes, I'll light them up. And once they're fully ashed over, I'll dump them into the kettle cone. And then carefully put the grill back in. No, I won't. Then put the lid back on, making sure all the vents are wide open, and we're gonna give that 10 minutes to warm up. If you didn't know, my birthday's at the end of this week, and if you really wanted to, you can have a beer with me. Well, not physically, but you can shout me a beer. There's a link in the comments. The grill is hot, so it's time to get those little mini lamb cofters into the barbecue. We just wanna give the grill a light oiling up just to make sure nothing sticks. And now we're just gonna place them around the outer part of the cooking grill. That's where that high heat from the kettle cone is being forced. And we're effectively air frying food at these high attempts. And because we are using indirect heat, our food is not directly over that heat source. So we won't get any fat flare ups. Pop the lid back on and grab a drink. 
Lamb meat in general tends to have a lot of fat in it and as it cooks it renders out and that's going to drip down and hit the hot metal of the barbecue, creating a lot of smoke which is going to come out the vents. So nothing to concern yourself about. Just grab yourself another drink. If you didn't know, the Weber lid vent creates a hot spot. As the cold oxygen is sucked in through the bowl vents up and around our fuel, it is then forced back out this lid vent. So to ensure an even cook, I recommend turning the lid a third of the way every 10 minutes during the cook. I was spinning lids way before it was cool. The lamb kofters are done. How do I know this? Because I checked it with an instant read thermometer and they are now reading 74 degrees Celsius internally, as all minced meat products should to kill off any bacteria. Get these glorious tubes of meat off the barbecue and let's make some tacos. Soft tortillas are in order for today. Adding a cos lettuce leaf to each tortilla and then some diced red onion and then just topped with some quartered mini tomatoes. And then just adding a lamb kofta to each one. And if like me you don't have a fancy taco holder, I use quartered lemon wedges just to hold the tacos in place. And then there's only one thing left to do which is spray your glorious sauce all over them. Oh yeah, go on, you take it all. Yeah. Smut! Now the only thing left to do is give them a squeeze of lemon juice and then just shove them in your gob and let my sauce run down your chin. Mm. Smut! If there's one recipe of mine that you make this year, this is it. Mm.